What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in Objective-C programming. Now in this class I'm going to talk about the arithmetic expressions and operator precedence. So let's get started. Now what is arithmetic expressions? Now like in all programming languages, all arithmetic expressions are, are math. You're just doing math and we can use variables to do math. And uh, as long as you use the numeric uh, data types, you're good like ints or floats or double, you can do all the math you want. Now, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how all these expressions work using the integer data type. So we're gonna type in int, hit space, we gotta give our variable a name, hit space, now we're gonna make it equal to something, I'll make it equal to five, and end the way semicolon. We declared a variable with the integer data type and has a value of five now. Now, down here, we can start our expression. We can say red equals red plus, five and the weighty semicolon. So up here we declared a variable which has an integer data type and our variable has a value of five, right? Down here, this is a arithmetic expression, right? We're saying our variable red equals the value of red, which is five plus five. So it's self plus five, then the results get stored in red again. So red equals red plus five. So five plus five should be 10. So let's print it out on the screen. So how are we gonna print this out on the screen? We're gonna use the NS log to do it. So Hit enter a few times, capital N, capital S, capital L, lowercase o, lowercase g. Hit space, open and close parentheses, and the with a semicolon. Now inside this uh, open and close parentheses, we're going to type this at symbol and a set of double quotes. So two double quotes. Inside this two double quotes here, we're going to type our placeholder for our variable. And we have a integer data type, so we're going to use the percent symbol i. So percent symbol here, then i. This is a variable placeholder for integer data types. Now, the, the program knows that there should be a variable here, but now we gotta tell it which variable to use. So outside the, the double quote here, we're gonna type comma, hit space, and we gotta type in our variable name, which is red, right? So now it should print the value of variable red, right? So let's hit play. And variable red equals 10 down here. So up here, we declared a variable with the integer data type. We named it red and we gave it a value of five. Then we added this arithmetic expression here. Basically, uh, the variable red equals itself plus five. So it had a value of five, so five plus five equals 10. Then we printed it out on the screen using this NS log. Now, we can also uh, do the same expressions within one line, within the de declaration. So up here, we declared variable red equals five, right? So we can say variable red equals five, plus five and end it with a semicolon. We gotta add this expression within the declaration to save space. So if you guys don't wanna add a bunch of lines, you could just do it within the same uh, variable declaration and you're good to go. So now we learned how to do uh, adding, right? So how, how do we uh, subtract? Now, this is the symbol for subtract, this minus symbol here. And now what's gonna happen is now our variable red is gonna equal five minus five, which should be zero. So let's hit play. As you see, it printed out zero because five minus five is zero. So let's say we wanted to multiply. If we wanted to multiply, we change the symbol to this asterisk symbol here or star symbol, whatever you want to call it. This is how we multiply using this asterisk symbol here. Now, five times five is 25. So let's hit play, see what happens. And it printed out 25 down here, right? Now let's say we wanted to divide. The divide is this forward slash here. So we replace this the star symbol with this forward slash. This is the symbol for divide. Five divided by five is one, so let's see what happens. And I printed out one down here. So now we know how to uh, you know, do simple math within our program, right? But uh, what about uh, operator precedence? Now, what is operator precedence? So basically what the operator precedence is, it's basically the stuff you learned in junior high school. Like, I don't know if you guys were in the US, we learned PEMDAS. Please excuse our dear Aunt Sally. So parentheses, exponents, uh, multiplication, uh, division, uh, adding, and then subtracting. So that's what PEMDAS is. It's order of precedence. So I'll show you how that works right now. So let's first create a equation here. Let's say f uh, five uh, times, right? Let's say uh, open and close parentheses, right? Inside this open and close parentheses, we're going to have another, have another expression, 4 plus 4, right? So so again, I'm just going to write the order of precedence, PEMDAS, on the side here. So P-E-M-D-A-S. So 
First is parentheses, then it's exponents, then it's multiplication, then it's division, then it's adding, then it's subtracting. This is the order it will follow. And uh, we learned this in school. Again, PEMDAS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, is, is a uh, neat way to remember it. That's how I was taught. So let's, let's see what happens. First, it should do this parentheses, right? So it's going to do whatever's in the parentheses first. So 4 plus 4 is 8. Then it's going to do outside. So let's see what happens. I'm going to hit play here. Bill succeeded, and it was 40. Let's see if we were right. So 4 plus 4 is 8 because we have to do whatever's in the parentheses first. So 8 times 5 is 40. So that's how that works right now. All right, so I'm going to show you one more example. Let's just delete this expression here, right? So let's say 5, hit space. We're going to use this plus symbol, hit space, plus 5 again, hit space. We're going to use this minus symbol, hit space, let's say 7, hit space. We're going to use this multiplication symbol here, the asterisk, hit space, then say 5. So again, this is going to follow the order of precedence. First, it's parentheses, right? We have no parentheses, so it goes to the next one, exponents. We have no exponents, so it goes to the next one, multiplication. We do have multiplication here, so it's going to do 7 times 5 first. 7 times 5 is 35, right? Now what's next on the list? Division. We don't have division, so it's going to go to the next one. Next one is addition, and we do have addition here, so it's 5 plus 5. So we get it's going to do 5 plus 5 next, so 5 plus 5 is 10. So now we have here 10 minus 35. So let's see what our answer is here. Let's hit play. Bill succeeded, and it printed out negative 25, and that's our answer. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmoreTech.com, and thanks for watching.